Wonder Twin powers activate. Activate. Form a, <gasps> Form a, a bucket of water. Planet, <laughs> It'd be Captain Planet. <laughs> Crossover. Welcome back, everyone. Storm here. Tom here. Kimmy here. We're going to be watching more Attack on Titan. We are on episode 419, episode 19 of season four, also known as 478 on Crunchyroll. We are back watching on Crunchyroll, and I am excited and scared, <laughs> yeah. yeah, to see what's going to happen next. Do you think that Zeke and Aaron are going to make contact? I do. Do you? Want I to think if they make contact, contact, Captain Planet's going to form and the uh, world would be a better place. Yeah, or not. He's going to be evil Captain Planet and just evil take Captain down Planet. everybody. Um, and will Falco reach Zeke in time? And will Zeke listen? Because we know that Zeke cares for Falco, but will it be enough to actually change his mind? Because he won't be able to go through with his plan. For you know, so it's like one kid. You sacrifice one kid. Which what about a weird? What about person. a weird twist? What about a weird twist where Zeke does it before Falco gets to him? Falco turns and winds up eating him because he's in bad shape. That would be a twist. But he becomes the new Beast Titan. That would be a twist, yeah. So I think all hell, I mean, it's already breaking loose. It's terrible. Yelena's watching this grand thing happen in front of her, and she's like, she's crazy. Of, yeah, and she's like all awestruck and scared and mm -hmm. um, watching these gods, you know. You don't know if she likes you or is going to kill you in like the same moment? <laughs> I know. Yeah, <laughs> she is so pretty true. terrifying. So shall we get into this episode? Let's yes. do it. Let's do it. So four, seven, eight, four, nineteen on Crunchyroll. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh. Uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> no. So many well, questions. That was an intense episode. That yeah. was. Will Zeke really Zeke. have full control over Aaron? Yeah, he 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 knew what his plan was. Yeah. That was smart. I'm glad Zeke wasn't completely helpless there and Aaron had full control because I'm glad it turned on him a bit. I mean, I don't think any side is right, but what um who do you agree with more? Aaron at this point or Zeke? Their point of views. That's a uh, tough one. I mean, it is tough because no matter what, I mean, not everyone. I mean, there's going to be many, many lives gone because of either way. So, you know, what's true, what's not true is, you know, depends on, you know, what side you were brought up with. And but in our point of view, you know, I don't know. I just. What you tell yeah, it's the same I, thing. It's, it's like it's, it's, it's a tough it's call. A toss I mean, up, you know, well, you know, Z Zeke is, uh, was originally saying to uh, you know stop the uh, Eldians from having children. Right. Aaron turned it around and started saying euthanize them all. Right. So it's like either way, that's a lot of death on either either perspective. Um. It's, I think, I think, um, I know, I don't think anything's right. It's all messed up. So um, I do agree more with Zeke um, just because he's talking about them not having kids anymore because, right. um, you know, this cycle is going to keep continuing because they have, like, Titans have such strong power um, that people are always greedy and want that power. And then sometimes it gets out of control where they turn into pure Titans and then chaos ensues and you have a lot of death. So as terrible as it is to take away freedom of having kids, it's messed up. And I don't like saying it, but I think it, it as long as it doesn't torture or kill anyone, um, I think it would be good for Eldians not to be able to have kids anymore until that. But if they don't done. have kids, then eventually they're going to be wiped out. Exactly. You know? And that's the yeah. point because. And then euthanizing them all, they're going to be wiped out just quicker. Yeah. And sometimes I so, don't know if it's just because the subtitling, if it um, says things in a way that it's not meant to be, like the meaning's not the same. But yeah. I think that um, with Aaron, he does want to eradicate. He wants to kill a lot of people, but he wants to kill those who oppose him. But where do you draw the line there? Like you want to, um, you know, unleash a few colossal titans in the rumbling to kill many and see how that goes i mean if you release all of them or the millions or whatever they said 
um, you're going to like extinct the world. Like no one's going to be around. I mean, just one colossal Titan takes out a whole city, you know? Yeah, um, so I don't think Aaron's way of just saying, cause of just saying that we'll kill our enemies. I mean, well, when is that ever going to end? Cause you guys are always going to have enemies. You're just going to keep killing people off because you make your own enemies and you keep killing them, you know? And then it yeah, goes somebody's going to oppose forth. your beliefs because not everybody thinks the same. Yeah, yes. and so that's not a good way to go either. So Zeke, um, I think, had a better way to go about it. But at the same time, how many people did you just kill so those guys, so the <laughs> brothers could touch? You know, you just did the scream and everyone around that area that drank wine are freaking titans now. Um, Falco and his brother Colt died. Oh, like, that's so sad. That you was know, horrible. But, you know, look at Gabby. Oh, my God. That was amazing, wasn't it? God, yeah, yeah, she's an amazing <laughs> soldier. And just taking off his head like that, I'm like, oh, my God, maybe this is truly it for Aaron. But for Zeke to grab his head that's still alive, because even though it's slow motion for us, it happened within a second, you know? So his yeah, head and within those couple alive. seconds, the head's still alive. <laughs> that's God. right. It's all that baseball practice he had. Yeah, right? He's a catcher, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yes. exactly. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> But that, this was a great episode, and that was, like, so insane to see that. Um, and they both <laughs> met the founder, and... Yeah, and Ymir went right to Zeke. Mm -hmm. Well, Zeke already possessed the yeah, power. Yeah, he already knew. He knew. Well, because he was there once before, remember, when he was getting reconstructed. Yeah. So that's probably when he had acquired it. Yeah, and being there, too, he said that it all happens in an instant, so he doesn't even know, like, the time. So he was probably there for a long time waiting yeah. for Aaron because it seemed like it the way he was talking, unless mm -hmm. it was just a full setup because we know he tricked him. But, um, yeah, so it's interesting to see that Ymir is a slave as well and just truly believes right. that, you know, the royal, the royal blood line is um are the possessors or the only possessors to have the founder titan power um so it went like it because she's mindless or she's like you know she has yeah. no expression you can't see her pupils right. at all and she just walks calmly to zeke um no problem she mm -hmm. just passes aaron ignores him completely so i'm just curious what the next episode is going to be like because now that they triggered the founder titan is zeke really gonna be in charge are both bodies minds going to be in this titan are they gonna fight for dominance i just feel like um aaron like zeke doesn't know everything and i think aaron's gonna get the upper hand and be able to take him over or something well they're i mean essentially they're two different totally different you know people the way they've been brought up the way they believe right. even though they 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 were kind of along the same track there for a while, but we now know that Aaron was just deceiving him. Mm -hmm. But here he kind of figured that out. Yeah. So I, I think that if they are, you know, two two minds in one body, then that's going to be a battle for who who can get control. Yeah. yeah. And Aaron's head was still alive, but I'm just taking that as um, them touching. Now Zeke has his abilities too, but you have to eat the person. So he didn't eat mm. Aaron. So overthinking it now, I'm kind of wondering if Zeke and Aaron are going to uh, mind meld, but I think Aaron's body is going to be the founder Titan, founding Titan because he already is. And um, he just needed the Royal bloodline trigger, you know? So I'm curious on how this is going to happen and how, and who is going to really have control. Yeah, and Over all the, the memories movie. are going to be together too, when they are to if they are going to be together. If they eat, if one eats yeah, the other, when eats the other, so yeah, that's true. But I don't know, right. like at this moment, flashing, are they just going to turn into the founding titan and together? We'll find out. Don't tell us, please. Yeah, <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah. We'll find out. Was just but the most devastating. I mean, we saw so many people die this episode, and it's so devastating to see. Um, you know, just, I mean, looking now, because we don't look at the title ahead of time, it's called Two Brothers. So Colt mm. dying, crying with his brother and pleading with Zeke. But I knew Zeke wasn't going to change. I really hoped he was going to. But they just sacrificed all these people for this plan to, even though Zeke cares for Falco, it's the bigger cause. The like, over, that's yeah. what, you know, he already killed so many to get to this It's point. the sacrifice yes. he had to make. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, it. no, and just to see that moment and to see Falco like that. Now, Tom, you mentioned, which I hope that will be the case because we really thought um, Reiner was going to, you know, he was kind of giving up at that moment mm -hmm. and he was also exhausted. 
um, that he was going to be like, all right, I'm accepting my fate that, you know, Falco, he'll live on for a few more years being the armor Titan. And then he ended up going after uh, the jaw Titan. And that was a sad scene too, because he it freaking was. died. He got eaten, right? So I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, so means Falco now has his powers. Yeah. Right. So now he has Porco's powers and holy crap. Yeah. So that was, that was the ultimate sacrifice right there. And again, going back to the fact that all right, I'm going to have these Titan powers. I'm going to live for, what was it, 13 years. And then it's a privilege to get eaten by someone else. But just like Falco, as we've seen many times before, when you get eaten, they don't want to give you a quick death. They're stupid. They're not thinking about being no, nice to you. No They're idea. just chewing you out. Oh, yeah. You're going to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you just a piece of jerky. <laughs> yeah, he's just like chewing them up. And I'm like, that's oh, so freaking nasty. <laughs> Man, so I feel bad about Porco and Falco, but I think he's going to be okay for the next, well, he can die still, but, you know, at yeah. least he's going to live on <laughs> past being a, a pure Titan. And But yeah, so now Aaron has a head, or is a head, <laughs> and will he just grow his body back? Because he does heal. Yeah, but, it does, after but being triggered, he said that. before he passed on, so unless uh, he gets reconstructed in that realm that he's in. Sand castles. Sure. Maybe maybe he could re-sculpt his body and like, I'm not really an artist, so <laughs> I'll look like the other Titans. Connect with Annie. Yeah, and I gotta say, like, I love how original this show is. I mean, maybe I'm sure a lot of you guys can compare this to other animes, because I've seen a few, but not nearly that much, you know, compared to what's out there. But I gotta give credit to the freaking Titans on how freaking bizarre they are. Because yeah. they are so freaky, and sometimes I find myself chuckling because I'm like, they're so freaking. I know like, with the long. Yeah, it's just such an intense and negative and scene, and just coming out high <laughs> and just running like like they're the all different tower. runs, like oh, they're like, eh. and I'm like, oh no, ah. and I, like I'm all mixed emotion, like I don't know how to take this. Do scene. I run or do I laugh at them? Yeah, and just like think if you ever saw that in real life, God, kill me now, because that's just terrifying. It's so I creepy. I want to live, but still, like that's just absolutely terrifying, <sighs> and. Um, um, just to say one more time, I'm so mad about Levi being gone. What's up with that? I, I hate it. To, I am in denial. I'm so as well. angry. Well, yeah, and after we saw his body and stuff, yeah. I'm just really angry. But um, we'll find out. But I don't think he's. I think he's dead. But anywho, um, focus on this episode. Um, Falco, you know, his brother Colt. I'm really sad about and Porco. So Colt and Porco, goodbye. You were awesome characters, brave sacrifices, yes. and. So until next time, anything uh, you want to add? Stop dying. No. Yeah, <laughs> stop dying. <laughs> that was cool. Like, um, I do like this season. I like how much buildup there was and how much action we've been getting the last few episodes. And this one, like the fighting in this was just incredible to watch. Well it animated, was. I thought. Mm -hmm. um, I enjoyed intense. it a lot. Yeah. So until next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you very soon, as always. Bye, guys! Bye! Bye.